If you want to buy a house for the first time, there's three questions you have to ask. And these three questions have to be asked from a lender, not from a friend, not from a realtor, not from a title company, from a lender. The lender is the only one who can accurately give you this information. But before you even ask those questions, you have to go to the lender and send them your pay stubs, your W-2s, your tax returns, your bank statements, whatever they ask you for and complete an application. Then once they have all those documents, they can then review them and they can answer these questions. And all three are very important because if you don't know the answer to these three questions, then you're not really gonna be fully informed and you're not really gonna be ready to buy a house. So the first question you need to ask is, what is the max that I qualify for? And once they give you that number, you will know what you qualify for and you'll know if it's reasonable to buy a house in your market for that amount. But the other thing they need to tell you along with that is what is the monthly payment at that amount? Because you need to know whether or not that is a payment that you feel comfortable with. Now, when they give you that payment, if you're fine with it, that's fine. You're ready to move forward. But if you're not fine with that, at that point, you need to say that payment is more than I can afford. How much can I qualify for at this payment? So if you give them a reduced payment, they should be able to give you the max loan amount so you fully know what you're doing. And at that point, you can then once again reassess to make a determination. Can you buy a house in your market for that amount? Or when you talk to a realtor, you can give them a range that you want to look at. Now, with that payment and that approval amount, you have to talk to them about cash to close. And you want to say to them, OK, I'm approved for this amount. What is the monthly payment with zero down, 3% down, 5% down, 10%, 20%? Really, whatever amount of money you want to put down on that transaction. And once you, they tell you that, then you have to say, with that down payment, I want to know what the monthly payment would be. So you can now match up the cash to close and the monthly payment. So once you have those two pieces of information, you're almost prepared to move forward. But the final thing that you need to ask the lender is take a deep dive into your credit. And what you want them to do is look to see if there's any small things that you they can tell you that you can do to improve your credit score. Because improving your credit score can reduce the monthly payment reduce the interest rate, and even reduce the cash to close. And if there's minor things that you can do, you really want them to tell you that so you can start working on that upfront. Once you have all three of those questions answered, now you are ready to purchase a house. You can have a pretty educated conversation with your realtor. You can go out and look at houses and you'll know if things are beyond your budget or in your budget. And you'll also know if you see something you love that's a little bit above your budget, if you're willing to stretch for it. If you don't have those things, things answered, then you're not ready to move forward.